Next up, Russ and I are going to talk about news from Arrow, Criterion, and Scream Factory, as well as a Steelbook Roundup. If you are one of those who, for some reason, have not subscribed yet, correct that now. Subscribe to us, like this video, and enjoy the beautiful content we provide you. I want to thank you for the information. I don't know what good it'll do me. Three of the main companies, Criterion, Arrow, and Scream, they just kind of released their January slates. And honestly, when I look at all of them, I'm a little underwhelmed. There's very little to anything that I'm looking at, which to me, I kind of like because I think my wallet needs a break. (laughs) I need that January slump, especially right after the holidays. It's like, thank you for Criterion for January. They've got Baron Munchausen coming out, which is pretty awesome. Um, I mentioned before, I really enjoy this movie. It's kind of like a kid's movie, but in a way it's bizarre enough for adults to still like get down with. Yes, why not? This one's got a little bit of a darker tone, maybe edge to it, but still, while still being light at, at, for the most part, does have a lot of that like Quirk. attention to detail, quirkiness, style. It's all over the place. Well, I mean, um, Terry Gilliam. Terry, yeah, know. it's awesome. And the rest of these, I'm not, I'm not really sure about. But same thing with Arrow. So they just put out their January announcements too, and it's um, not much I recognize. Some martial arts stuff, uh, a Lucas Moodyson box set. Who? <laughs> Yeah, just more of a pass for me. Scream Factory, however, for their January slate, they have the most that I at least recognize. Oh my God! They are leading with the a collector's edition of Dawn of the Dead, the famed Zack Snyder version. If we're going to talk horror remakes, especially 2000s horror remakes, yeah, Dawn of the Dead is the cream of the crop. Okay. It's definitely... Have you ever owned this on anything? No. no. no I owned it on DVD. DVD. And it looks like, again, per usual, they, they're kind of bringing along all the old stuff, and but they do have a new 4K master struck from the original camera negative. I don't know why it says struck from. I've never seen that <laughs> worded that way. I don't know if that's like some new technology that I'm not aware of or if it's just the wording of it. Uh, another movie that I know you're a big fan of, Freaky. Love it. <laughs> I mean, don't you like this movie? No. I regrettably saw it. Of course it's terrible. Scream Factory's putting this they out? They are. Shame Scream, on you. Scream Factory, they are putting that out. They're also putting out Ouija. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Because that's what it's called, Ouija. <laughs> Ouija? Then you have a steelbook, lastly, from They Live, which is, again, that Army of Darkness sort of style, and I, I've never seen this movie. I like this art. Impossible. Why do you think I'm wearing sunglasses right now? Looking at your (laughs) fake ass consumer skeleton, right? (laughs) Trying to make you buy, buy more, Russ. I know we're like, this is what we're doing on this channel. But what do you think? That artwork's great. I think it's pretty cool. Awesome. I'm glad you agreed. I was worried you weren't going to agree. No, this fits the movie perfectly. They Live is like Big Trouble in Little China. Yes, it's this. (laughs) I know you know Big Trouble in Little China. Wouldn't this style of artwork fit that film beautifully? Yeah, that's, They Live is in that realm. It's in that wheelhouse. So of course, this is great. I think I get immediately what this movie is just by looking at this. It's badass. So yeah, so those are the big three, the big three studios and their January releases. And honestly, like I said, I'm not mad at them. I need, I'm going to need a break. Um, I think I'm definitely going to pick up Baron Munchausen. In fact, I already pre-ordered that. You know, that really answers my fucking question. A quick steelbook roundup, Russ. A quick steelbook roundup. I know this is always your favorite. I do. You know what's funny? I am a steelbook enthusiast. I realized that recently. Yeah? Yeah, it turns me on. Kick-Ass is coming um, in a one of these fancy, super spectacular collector's edition steelbook sets from Zavi. This has previously been released in 4K, but not in a steelbook. Zavi's putting this steelbook out, but also in a collector's edition with all their typical trimmings the outer hard box the booklet the photos the poster kind of all that stuff i'm going to tell you i think this movie is pretty cool but this steel book is ugly as shit i know i think this uh wraparound box is also really terrible to look at huh okay i don't think it's terrible I don't even get what this outer box is. It's always been colorful. Like all the characters have their own color. It's always been the case. That was even the original poster. But this outside box doesn't, it looks like like a crime scene or something. <laughs> like it's busy. I don't like it. Even for this movie, I don't yeah, like it. Yeah, I don't like it either. I don't, I'm not as offended as you are. I mean, it fits what the movie is. This stupid ass vision board outer box. I mean, I don't know. But dude, have you noticed no Nicolas Cage? What yeah. is with that? Well, this whole thing is just who knows who. And then over here you have favoritism. 
the details that they share for people that might want to pick this up and there might be some of you out there and more power to you if you do but it does say that there's a gloss steelbook that comes with it a high gloss rigid slipcase so you know that right away that the packaging sounds like it's going to have some you know some matte areas some, some shiny areas it's going to probably be nice to look at and nice to hold and that's 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 good at least 36 page book five art cards and a double-sided poster if this art was better, I probably would be on something like this. I wouldn't pay $65 before shipping. That really answers my fucking question. No, That's $70 I, I for kick-ass. wouldn't, yeah. I'm not paying $70 for kick-ass. But it's coming out, so everyone jump on that <laughs> now that we've given it such a rave review. No. Cloverfield, 15th uh, anniversary, is, and this is coming out uh, January 24th. This has previously been released in 4K. Also, this is just a new collector's edition steelbook for the anniversary. And the US and the foreign markets are getting somewhat of different art. They're going with a steelbook that has one of these fancy slide down plastic sleeves on it that alters the art in some way. The art itself is a picture of, you know, the city under siege by the monster, which first off, I'm a little put off by. I know it's 15 years later, but the monster has never been part of the um, advertisement. And in fact, the monster's in it for like, I would say total, if you combine all the scenes that it's in, less than two minutes. It's very quick when you see this thing. It's more about the dread and them trying to escape. It's not exactly like a Godzilla, let's watch this thing marvel for however long. Yeah. So that's why I always kind of like that. But now it's on the box, which kind of pisses me off because I know what they're doing. The slide down in both releases is the like a camera lens. But on the French release, the camera lens is kind of clear and you can still see the monster through it. Where in the US release, it's the iconic... Uh, Statue of Liberty poster that's part of the lens. So when you bring it down, you can kind of see the original poster art with this lens around it. Then when you lift it up, you get the monster um, version underneath. So I like that they've kind of twisted that a little bit for US. Um, this would obviously be the one I would get if I were to get it. <laughs> Just in time for Bill Murray to be canceled. This troublemaker. <laughs> It's Groundhog's Day in 4K, a 30th anniversary steelbook. So I have the 25th anniversary 4K regular release. So for the 30th anniversary, they are bringing him back out. Similar art choice here. Bill Murray's still stuck in a clock. The only difference that I can tell on this steelbook is that in the, the information it shares is that this release is claiming it has Dolby Vision, whereas I don't see that listed on my release. Yes! But again, I've got the regular edition. I'm good without this, personally. I don't know. Have you ever owned Groundhog's Day, Russ? I think at one point I had a special edition DVD that I picked up when it was on sale. Gotcha. Um, I respect the movie. Yep. It's just not never one I want to rewatch. Keep putting on. It's like a TV movie. You're kind of on. You leave it on. Like it TV is. S. I mean, it's kind of... It's, it's heavy. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. In light of Bill Murray's problematic behavior <laughs> extracurricular activities yeah i will say this is sony pictures and i will say that they just put out the fright nights and that steelbook is really nice this one might have that same kind of look to it which they've been killing it as as far as their steelbooks are concerned and if it's if it's half as good as that fright night steelbook this is you'd be willing to overlook bill murray's problematic behavior to never <laughs> no I, I don't care what bill murray does in his personal life i did i had to audition uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot like this, in fact, yeah. Really? Uh -huh. He touched you a lot in the audition? Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? No, I swear. <laughs> I swear. The first, yeah. Well, a movie I'm very excited about coming to Blu-ray in the U.S. for its debut, U.S. debut, first time ever, Russ, is Anvil. The story of Anvil. I saw this release. In an ultimate Blu-ray edition. And I'm so super pumped. And they've literally packed this thing. Now, it is a Blu-ray, but it's coming with a new 4K restoration, which this is a documentary. How much more clarity do I need? I don't know. But mm -hmm. the fact that they're giving the best picture quality possible, you know, I can respect that. And as you said, it never even made it to DVD. This yeah. is basically its home video debut. Yeah. So let's make it awesome. Maybe one day I'll, I'll recommend this in our recommendation segment. I'll just say, again, one of my favorite rock documentaries, if you like documentaries or anything like rockumentaries, um, it's worth picking up. It's about friendship. It's about not giving up on your dreams. It's a beautiful movie. It's got a great heart. And it's about metal. What do we got next? And lastly, <laughs> from the MVD Marquee Collection, Rain Man. 
in really? 4K. I know, so bizarre. I didn't hit the MVD Rewind. Wow. It's not MVD Rewind, oh. and it's their MVD Marquee Collection, which I don't know what the mindset is behind each of these labels and what they're focusing on. But they're focusing on Tom Cruise. That's right. 